And now to a story we first brought you yesterday on First News at 6. President Obama vetoed a large military spending bill. And that put a $9.4 million shooting range at the Youngstown Air Reserve Station on hold. 27 First News reporter Amanda Smith talked to local military leaders today about what this all means. The political fighting in Washington is having real world impact here in Vienna, and there are questions surrounding more than just the firing range. It's all of our day to day operating budgets. It's everything we do. We're operating on uh, uh, limited uh, continuing resolution dollars with the threat of sequestration still hanging out there. Sequestration means another federal shutdown. The threat of that is enough to worry Trumbull County leaders. Anything that happens at the airbase, if it's going to cause any problem, is as far as keeping the air base as it is, the amount of people working there would, would be a problem for the county. Senator Rob Portman introduced the bill. He said he was disappointed with the president's decision, but is looking for a way forward. I'm hopeful, and uh, we're going to continue to fight hard for the veto override. If that doesn't work, to, uh, to push our leadership on both sides of the aisle to, uh, to negotiate something with the president. Colonel Dignan is confident the project will get funded eventually. This firing range, uh, as it's currently planned, is going to be uh, really something state-of-the-art that we don't have in this part of the state at all. For now, command is taking a wait-and-see approach. We're back to square one. Well, maybe not square one, but we're back to uh, uh, starting over and trying to get something forward uh, to the president that he's willing to sign. In Vienna, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.